Hey Scorpio, welcome to your weekly reading for the 15th to the 21st of January. I am Charlene Lizette. Let's dive into your reading and see what's going on for you this week. Wow, really interesting energy here. Um, uh, there, there's this energy here of a waterfall or a pouring out. This could be a pouring out of some truth, some revelations. We do have Pluto moving into Aquarius. I can't remember exactly the date. I'm going to pull it up for you guys. Uh, because you being ruled by Pluto, um, that will that will impact you directly. One, two, three, four, five, six. I, again, it's going to affect everyone. It is an outer planet, but it'll have a different type of impact on you being ruled by the planet Pluto. All right. Um, in modern astrology, in traditional astrology, you're ruled by uh, Mars, in case you didn't know. All right, relationships here, transformation is happening, and new beginnings are happening in your romantic relationships, in your friendships, in your business negotiations. You may be networking, meeting new people, surrounding yourself with individuals who are um, focused on uh, growth, expansion, on things that you're interested in, you're attracted to, but maybe that you haven't had an opportunity to get in, involved with. For example, like you're going to um, networking events for investments, and that's something that's interested you and in, for a long time, you know, you're money driven, you're Scorpio, uh, you're, you are, you rule money um, with uh, Venus, but maybe you haven't had a time, like you haven't had time or you haven't found the right networking community. This is a week where you start to find the right people. Look at that. See, like there's this vibe here about you and, and Pluto is there um, as well. So um, there's this vibe there about you. Definitely. I, like I'm definitely feeling something's something's brewing. Something's brewing. And I knew I wanted to see here um, when Pluto moves into Aquarius. This is the astrological uh, calendar. Um, I want to be able to tell you guys when it does that because I, I haven't memorized everything just yet. Pluto enters Aquarius on the 20th. There you go. All right. And the sun enters Aquarius on the 20th as well. The sun is also going to be conjunct Pluto on the 20th. Um, let me see if there's anything going on with you guys. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Nothing, nothing really major with the sign Scorpio, but Pluto is doing a lot of things up in the, in the cosmos. Okay. So just be, be aware of that, especially because you also got high priestess as your amulet. High priestess is about tuning into source consciousness, being a conduit for your, the higher wisdom, the sacred knowledge that's being delivered and provided to you from source consciousness to help you to move forward in your life. There is this big upheaval here, but not a bad thing at all. Actually, the cards are quite auspicious and promising for you. But it means now that you have to integrate new ways of being. So you're attracted to those who serve you for your highest good. We've got this Phoenix Rises from the Ashes Scorpionic energy very much like you. You know, you're all about occult, uh, uh, sexual, the hidden, mystery, um, money, taxes, okay? Plant yourself here, integration, embodiment, grounded action. It's like you now are getting really clear and specific on this new direction. And even if you look at the cards, you have a few major arcana. When we see a lot of major arcana in a tarot reader, as a tarot reader, and if you want to learn tarot as well, you can do so in the description box below. My uh, pre-recorded certification is down there. When we see a lot of major arcana in a tarot reading, it means that there is pivotal instrumental um, change happening for the querent, which is you, which means that you're going through massive change this week, or this week ushers in the beginning. The seeds are planted to bring in that wave of change, right? The hanged man here, you know, I just got an image of a tsunami. I don't think a tsunami is happening, but I got that image of, um, you know, when the, sorry, when the, I have to tell you guys this, when the uh, tectonic plates shift, right? The tsunami happens because the tectonic plates shift, okay? The, the, one of the plates drops, it brings back the water and then the water pushes all forward and it makes its way to shore. So this week, the tectonic shift, uh, the tectonic plate in your life is shifting. So the very foundation is being rejigged. The hanged man starting off with your reading, this is Piscean energy, so is High Priestess. So there's that watery energy really accompanying your reading here, your fellow water signs. Introspection, self-reflection, self complacency, not complacency, sorry, contemplation, okay, inaction and 
giving yourself permission to see things for what they are without needing to respond or be in any sort of action, immediate action. That's how you're starting off this week. You're also in a very reflective state, nostalgic state with the six of cups and the moon. The full moon is on the 25th in Leo as a heads up, okay? This energy right here is a remembering, a reviewing, a reassessing uh, your fears versus your intuition versus your subconscious versus your unconscious versus, versus the illumination of the truth versus what needs to be revealed or what you haven't seen yet that you're going to be seeing pretty soon. So do you see how there's this big shift that's occurring here? in the underbelly of your life. And then as we move in midway into the week, we get this fool card here, ushering in a new journey, an optimistic journey, an exciting journey, a journey where you're not really sure what the next step is gonna be, but you're excited about it, right? You're hopeful, optimistic about it, maybe even a little bit naive about it. And then we move into this Knight of Pentacles, King of Wands energy. I think where the big changes are happening are around your finances, around your mindset with money, around getting your bank and your finances and your investments in order, around attracting new financial opportunities, and about shifting your energy into a wealth mindset, about shifting your frequency and your vibration to create a steady stream of cash flowing into your life without the inconsistencies, the ups and downs, the fear, the scarcity, okay? That's the vibe, all right? And if that's the case, go sign up for the waitlist to my uh, money magnet workshop it's in the description box okay this is an energy of long-term thinking strategy very capricorn and scorpio in nature uh you know this is where you're doing the detective work what do i need to do to get to this next level where do i need to work with wealth psychology where do i need to change my mindset what things need to shift in your life in order for this long-term financial abundance to come in because the king of wands is very intelligent and very capable of amassing massive wealth through not like the king of pentacles but the king of wands does it from a place of charm and of strategy and of intellect when i look at the king of wands i think about like a salesperson or i think about somebody who schmoozes their way into deals okay and not in a bad way at all it's not sleazy or anything this is you thinking long term who do i need to surround myself with to get to this next level i think we talked about it in the beginning if I've not corrected where I said, maybe you're going to these investment opportunities, right? These meetings, networking events, where in the past you wanted to, but you you haven't gotten a chance to, right? Yeah, I feel like I'm getting deja vu. Hopefully this is the right reading, reading where I said this, right? Drop it in the comments. You wrap up with the Wheel of Fortune, which tells me that after this, you know, snaggling, moving around, rejigging of your life to tectonic plate, proverbially shifting in your life, you go ahead and start moving forward towards these goals, towards these new financial opportunities, towards these new blessings in your life. And it's going to be a very auspicious time for you indeed. Let's dive into your love reading, all right? If you want to apply to work with me, I'm hosting a live nine-week container for those of you that are ready to get strategy, get clear, get specific and direct on your sole purpose and start actually embodying it, living it, right? That wealth mindset, working on creating steady cash flow, doing what you love, okay? Having the steps and the strategy to fulfill your life purpose. That's um, a nine-week container I'm hosting. You can go apply in the description box below uh, and everything else is down there as well. My Align course for those of you that are already to align your life, okay? Uh, and finally get clear on your, uh, you know, the journey of your life and what's been holding you back, okay? Or sign up to the Money Magnet, book a session, all that stuff is in the description box below, okay? Let me dive into this love reading here. Soulmate... Some of you may be meeting your soulmate as you venture off into these new financial opportunities. Wowie, wowie, wowie. Maybe some of you have Scorpio 7th house, Taurus 7th house, or Venus sitting in there. Um, the 7th house represents uh, your partner, Magician Ace of, um, sorry, Magician for getting to know each other. I don't want to take that. That didn't feel like it was part of it. Very soon, please. Can I get a card? Just one, please. Yeah, the Four of Swords. Okay, it was it. And the Four of Swords very soon. The more that you start shifting into this new way of being, the faster you're going to attract your soulmate. This is actually huge for you, big, 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 especially if you've been wanting to attract romance in your life and shift your finances to a whole new level. Like I'm talking big levels. I'm not talking about like making an extra thousand, extra two thousand. I'm talking big money here. Okay. 
here is your yearly reading. If you want to work with me in any capacity, it's all in the description box below. Your soulmate will be a Leo Aries Sagittarius, could be a Gemini as well. The more that you get to know each other, the more that you're going to start seeing exactly how this person fits into your life. And you're going to see why it took them so long to get in there. Like, because the, the tectonic plate, going back to that again. All right. Thank you again for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. We will see you later, alligators. Peace out. Bye.